structural repairs. Yes, love it. We're actually down at Iron Bridge, up in a roof space, and we have some issues with the gear blend, particularly this gear blend that is uh, falling away. We've got a rotten purling to deal with as well, so we're gonna put some remedial works in there that the, 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 the structural engineer has specified, all in stainless. So let's get to it. First issue we have is this purling has rotten away down in there and we've only got a bit of bearing left on it. We have a stainless steel angle to go in there that's a meter long and we're going to take some brickwork out from underneath here and cast a new concrete pad stone in and we're going to resin in some heli bars into that pad stone and then the steel is also going to be connected to the pad stone so that will stop this wall from moving any further I don't know whether I can get it on the camera angle but there's a break in this wall I can see the crack it just here in the brickwork and yeah this wall has gone slightly the ridge seems this top section ridge section has stopped where it is so we're going to put these stainless steel straps on here and they're going to be screwed back three rafters and we're going to resin fix them and we're going to drill some bigger holes in the end of them some m12s and we're going to resin fix them into the brickwork we've got we've got two on the ridge to do and then at 1.5 meter intervals so the next one we're going to get in this header course because we've got nice bit of material on that header course we're going to stick one in that header course and then it'll continue down there this is a shorter pitch um, so we're going to put one in the header course down this side as well and then that's the finished wall I was just nip down show you it's scaff and this other bit down here sound quality might be a little bit better now turn my mic on you live and learn we've put in some temporary lights it is a fairly dark building and up on the scaffolding it was absolutely pitch black this is the other corner then coming down so i think we'll get another three or four straps down on this side of the gable as well so this is building five we've been working here for a couple of months now and this issue was picked up while we we're doing some re roofing work on the uh, on, on the top and we put a new gutter in i think i might have shown it on one of the other videos so we picked that issue up here and as you can see we've got a shorter left hand side than the right hand side um, but we've had the scaffolding installed so we can get access up there well there's not much in here it's pretty bare i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it did i like it i don't know what it does though so i'm not even going to try and tell you what it does this is building four um, next door that's building five building four and then in here we have building three which again i haven't got a clue all for brick and tile manufacturer i do know that remains of a old chute there i mean the roof structure is fantastic in here a little bit of timber work but yeah i don't know what it does well that's smart i've seen that before neither no drum there it would have been for something we're building to find out what it all did well, they might be, after we've been doing all this work they might i think they're on about opening this back up to the public for like guided tours but anyway let's get to it We've got a date with some stainless steel down in one of the buildings where we've been working. Small trap. I mean, I mean, there's worse place to work in the world, isn't there? Got some stainless out of the yard that I brought down. 100 by 100. Architect wanted 8 mil, but we had 10 mil in, so we're, we're getting 10 mil. This is going to sit underneath that purling, and we just need to put offset two holes by. 50 mil and 
I think that's M16 that's going in there, so we'll probably drill them at a 17mm if we have a 17mm tungsten carbide bit. Because you can't drill this stuff with a standard mag drill bit. Uh, if not, we'll just drill them in an 18. And um, we've got some plate washers and some fixings that I brought down there. So, yeah, we'll get this drilled out. We'll get this, uh, four holes in it, and then that can be bolted up to the uh, purlin. Jack and Adam are just up there now. They're going to be fitting all the straps on. So, we're going to have a look at that later on. Uh, little lads are going to be drilling the steel out. We've got the angle iron fabbed up. I know the light in here is not too good. But we've off offset these holes by 50 mil each side. We've made ourselves some threaded bar. Got plate washers on the top. That stops the bolt and washer being pulled through. So they're just a bit bigger than a standard washer. And it gives it some bite. So yeah, that, oh, these are actually the horizontal ones. So they'll go in there. We're just cutting some longer ones now. So what are you doing now, Jack? Right here, I am taking a brick out. <laughs> taking a brick out. Taking a brick out. Ah, lad. Just lie down. It is going to go 100 mil in. Yeah. We're more than 100 mil over there, so we'll be able to slide it in, hold it up. Bob's your uncle. Who? Eh? Who's Bob? Who's Bob? Would you like me to lie down? I'll, I'll, lie, I'll lie down. You lie down. <laughs> Can you get that in like it is? Are we happy? Right, where's impact? Battery. Screws. I'll drill it while it's on. Time for your lobotomy, <laughs> sir. <laughs> this is going to be terrible footage. Ah, that's finger tartish. Right, well, finger tartish. Is that a technical term? I'll tell you that, <laughs> yeah. I'll need that stuff. Lovely. Yeah, I'll start with short one and then work <laughs> my way in. Oh, it don't get better than that. Lads have done well. My only little pet peeve just to be really, really picky, and they're gonna hate me for this. My washer's not straight. I know it's really minute, but it is the little things. Straps are in as well. Cracking job on them. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll just sort out what's happening down in here. So lads have just done this repair on the end of the purling from last time, or yesterday. Got to straighten the washer up. Uh, but steel's in and the concrete's in as well. There is a timber wall plate that was in here. What we've just done is just cut it off and put some bricks in because we didn't want to sit our new pad stone or new pad on the timber. So we've put a brick and a half in and cast that in there. And inside here, what we've done is we've drilled in some heli bar into the outside brickwork and then that's cast into that foundation as well. And then also what we've done is drilled some holes in the end of this stainless steel angle and wrapped some heli bar around that so it's all tied together now. Just got one more strap to put back on. It's already been drilled. Uh, we're just going to put a bit more brickwork up in here as well, point it all up. And that's it. A little insight into what we've been doing here. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. <laughs>